Welcome back to the Real ZB. If you are new here, my name is Zinte. And if you are golden oldie, thank you so much for stopping by for another video. Today is going to be a little bit of a casual video. I'm just going to be reflecting on my first month as a YouTuber. I'm going to call myself that because I have posted twice a week on a Wednesday and on a Sunday, twice a week for a whole month. So I'll just be giving you my thoughts and my feelings on how um, this YouTube journey has gone for me. So please stay tuned for the tea, honey. I didn't burn myself this time. Let me tell you guys, first time I tried to be a Michelin Pozo with the tea. I burnt myself, but the show had to go on. But now I know how to sip, <laughs> sip and spill at the same time. So as you are watching this, um, I would have consistently been uploading on YouTube for a month, which for me is a big achievement because I do have a full time job and that job requires a lot a lot a lot out of me so for those of you who maybe this is your first video or you don't really know what my channel is all about um i do mention in my channel trailer and also the first video that i posted that um this is basically a lock channel okay so yes i do a lot and i'm planning also to do a lot of lock content um but don't fear if you don't have locks i'll get into it now so basically i do lock maintenance um, myths about locks everything 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 about lock hair um in south africa again we call it dreadlocks né? but we're just gonna have for the sake of this channel we are going to call them locks if you have faux locks uh you you can also relate to some of my maintenance videos okay but if you don't have locks if you don't have locks um i feel like my channel you can relate to it because it's all about finding beauty in whatever difference you have so um since the beginning of my lock journey i always felt different well for my whole life so for my whole life i've always felt different and i've always felt like i wasn't uh, conventionally beautiful like yeah there would be those days where i'm feeling myself and i'd be like oh my gosh i'm beautiful but i i never thought that i was the girl okay so it took me a long time to realize that actually um i am the girl that i think i am and that's only because i feel beautiful inside and you too are the girl that you think you are and yes you are the girl that you think you are if you think you're ugly um then you're right if you think you're beautiful then you're also right so it's all about a mindset thing so for those of you who don't have log hair i think you will gain a lot from my channel because i talk about um, how i came into my state of um, finding confidence in myself and also finding confidence in my different hair and my controversial hair and so yeah man so it would be so lovely to have you guys around i'm also planning to do some lifestyle content in the near future so yes Please write down in the description box below the kind of lifestyle things that you would like to see from me and I will mix it up um, within my lock videos. I am planning some vlogs um, so I'm quite nervous about those uh, but yes we'll see how it goes but I am planning to try out doing some vlogs for you guys, doing some behind the scenes of my life, um, furnishing my house. Guys, I have no idea what I want to do with my house. Still, it's been like two months, but it's fine. Um, I'm so indecisive. 
so yes so i'm gonna be bringing you guys along on my whole journey it would be really nice if you guys could stick around and also watch some of my lock videos because i think um, there's a whole lot of lies and assumptions out there about locked hair so it would be very nice for you guys to just watch and learn more about a different kind of texture of hair a different kind of uh, pattern of hair so yes if you don't have locks you can still stick around honey I've got a lot in store for you and then um sorry I have notes <laughs> I've written down notes like my videos are always so uh cut and you know perfect <laughs> they're not perfect but you know what i mean okay so the first thing that i want to say after my whole ramble about <laughs> my channel is that i've had quite a lot of people and you know who you are you know who you are i've had quite a lot of people who are like oh my gosh I, I really want to start my channel like I'm so glad you're finally starting your channel I also want to start my channel but this and this and this and this and that and I just want you guys to take this gen this this video as a sign to start your channel start it start it start it the only way that you will get things going is if you start it so start don't be like me and wait almost a decade to do something that you knew in your heart that you want to do if god has put it in your heart to start your channel he did that for a purpose and was like wanna pambili my sister was like wanna pambili babe so what you are going to talk about um but yes start that channel you don't have to have all the equipment if you could see my setup right now if you could see my filming setup right now i'm filming on my phone it is an iPhone 8 Plus. I have it propped up on a box, a shoe box. I'm in my kitchen and I am just doing this thing. You don't need soft boxes. You don't need a ring light. Natural light, God gave us light and you can use natural light to film your videos. If you feel like you have something to say, girl, turn on your camera, turn on your phone and say it loud and proud so yes i would suggest that if you have been thinking and you have been making excuses about starting your channel use this video as a sign the universe is telling you that it is time girl to start your channel oh. Oh. okay so as I said before I've been I have a full-time job and guys let me tell you right my first video went up in September which was last month ne? and who I've been so concerned like September for me was deadline time at work right so I had deadline on top of deadline on top of deadline on top of deadline and so it was a very hectic time for me right it was very 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 hectic time for me but still throughout that i was able to keep the flow of two videos a week going so i'm just gonna let you in on a little secret i pre-film my videos um on a saturday i film about three or four videos um, on a Saturday and I'm only able to achieve this by being organized now um, by being organized I mean throughout the week I think about okay not even throughout the week okay let me let me let me go back right to the beginning okay so before I started my YouTube channel um, I I planned it out ne? so UXX Kanya um, has so many videos on how you can make sure that you've got all your ducks in a row and how you can balance your life and your YouTube and be consistent and all of that on her channel. So I will link her channel below. I used a lot of the stuff that she was saying on her channel, on her Facebook page, on her Instagram. Yeah, wanted to in order to get my ducks in a row because I am someone who likes to plan. Okay. 
Um, I like I like order. My house is a house of order. You know, I like order. I like to know. I like to give to have a roadmap. I like to plan out my week. So yes, so I planned out exactly what I want my content to be and who I want my content to be for. And then I wrote down. So she she recommended that before you start a, a, a channel or you 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 choose a niche which is like uh, a group of people you want to target <laughs> basically i'm oversimplifying but before you choose a niche you should write down 35 um 35 video ideas um before you even start to see that which of the niches that you're thinking about will have you know the most benefit to you Okay, so I, I did that. That's exactly what I did. I sat and I wrote down more than 30 ideas. I have so many ideas in my notes. It's crazy. And every day I'm like, oh, I should do this. I should do this. So have somewhere where you write down all of your ideas. Né? And then every, every week, at the start of the week, I think, okay, on Saturday, I want to film these three or these four videos that's what that's what I'll do and then I'll choose three videos out of my list and then on Monday I will plan I will script the first video so I'll write a kind of a, a rough script of what I want to say in the first video um, and on Tuesday I'll do the second on Wednesday I'll do um, the third and then on thursday i look at the scripts just to make sure that i know what i'm doing and on friday i look at the script again so that on saturday once i press record oh and on friday i lay out all the clothes that i'll be wearing and i plan out what makeup i'm gonna have or what props i'm gonna need so as to make sure that on saturday everything is laid out and i'll actually label by video one video two video three and then I will write out my call sheet. Um, a call sheet is basically saying at eight o'clock we're going to be we're going to start filming, and this is the the what do you call it? This is the the order in which I will film. So I go to the most natural makeup one to the most heavy makeup one, or the most um, the quickest one to the the, the longest one whatever it is however you want to do it so that's how I, I i plan for my video so that on saturday once i put on that video i say what i need to say change go into the next video take my thumbnails take pictures for instagram take my reels in between and i've got content for about <laughs> a whole month or something so plan you know sit down and plan what you want to do so that you're not overwhelmed and that when life happens because life does happen you write a test maybe and you're overwhelmed um you're going through a deadline maybe and you're overwhelmed and as a new youtuber you need to be consistent at the same time so if this is this is really something that you want to do then you need to you need to get your life in order you need to get your ducks all in a row so that's how i've been able to be consistent i even took a break on Heritage Day up until this week so I took about a week break from production I didn't plan anything I didn't film anything um, from Heritage Day up until the, the beginning of October today is the 3rd of October as I'm filming this um, so I took a production break because I was under a lot of stress and pressure so but i also i have videos up for you guys to watch so and on top of knowing where you're going learn about the youtube algorithm so as i said one of the resources that i use is xx kanya and another resource that i used um she focuses more on like your first video it's called tips with trina um, she focuses more on um, your first YouTube video, right? So those were very helpful because she tells you what to put in your description box, what to put in your um, about section, um, how to put tags on your video. Like all of the things that you need to know about the YouTube platform are on YouTube. 
also make use of um, the creators channel on YouTube um, because they will tell you all about the algorithm and how um, you can grow on the YouTube pla platform um, but your yeah, um, excess Kanya is uh, targeted at nano influencers so I use most of her resources and then I used tips for Trina for my first video and my tags and I use creators channel just to learn more about um, the YouTube space so those are the three things that I've used well the three platforms that I've used um, in order to start my channel um, and I realized that um, YouTube is a tricky space right um, in that it's either in that there are some people who can get 1,000 subscribers in one day uh, 10,000 subscribers in one day um, a million subscribers in one day some people are overnight some sensations but the general population which is most of us will take um, some time to get to even a thousand I was even happy to have 100 subscribers within five days of posting my first video for me that was a win that was a win because I thought I've, I've been off social media for such a long time that I thought that people had maybe forgotten about me and people were not gonna support me you know I just <laughs> I just thought a lot of things but for me to have a hundred subscribers within my first week I was happy about that and for me I'm so grateful about that and I continue to be grateful about each and every one of you subscribing and watching my video um, my videos so yes a lot of us probably won't be overnight sensations so you need to bear that in mind so my second my my next point is that you need to be in it for the right reasons um, you're not gonna make money right off the bat you're not gonna be monetized within your first day yes there are some people who are able to manage to to get there but maybe that's not your story so you need to gain as much knowledge as you can about the algorithm and how it works and how you can grow uh, use the resources to assist you in order for Bana to be successful in your channel and also just know that you know if you're not an overnight sensation it's fine you know don't don't come into it thinking you're gonna be an overnight sensation or you're gonna go viral within your first video go in it because it's something that you want to do it's something that you've been thinking about for a long time and it's something that's burning 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 in your heart that you really 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 want to do don't do it because people are making money off the platform you might not make money off the platform don't do it because people are getting famous on the platform. You might not get famous on the platform. You, you understand what I'm saying? So do it for the right reasons and that will go towards your consistency because you know why you started. So that knowing why you started will be the same thing that will keep you going on this platform. And you will keep showing up for your 100 people each and every week, every Wednesday, every Sunday, or whenever you are planning on, on, on posting your channel, you'll keep showing up for your 50 subscribers because your 50 subscribers have 50 relatives and friends who will then become your 100 subscribers, who will then become your 1,000 subscribers. So make sure that even if you have 20 people following your channel, that you make sure that those 20 people feel so loved and so part of your channel that um, they will bring on their friends and their families and they'll share your, your, your content. So yes, that's it for my rant. So I would just like to take this opportunity to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and for watching my videos and fun fact 60% of you who actually watch my videos are not subscribed so please if you're still here please subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me um, 
Yes, yeah, so it's very weird that you just watch my videos and you don't subscribe. Just subscribe, it's free. I will command, or it's not so, it doesn't hurt. Subscribe to my channel. Um, but I really am um, thanking you so much for making my journey so blessed. I've had quite a number of people saying, Oh, I really enjoy your channel. And I'm just like, Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Interest. but um, thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed thank you so much to those who subscribed even before I posted my videos you guys are the real MVPs and I know exactly who you are um, so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and for watching my videos and for just for being a supporter of the real ZB and yes i really hope that we can grow together and we can grow this channel into something um, beautiful together because i can't do it without you guys so yes i really hope that we can make something special from this channel and i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye